One rainy afternoon, while wandering through his uncle's lab, Amsum stumbled upon a shiny metal canister labeled nitrous oxide. The words didn't mean much to Amsum, but underneath them was a smaller label, laughing gas. Now that was interesting. He didn't touch the canister, of course. He knew better than to mess with lab equipment. But his curiosity ignited a question that followed him everywhere. What would happen if someone breathed in laughing gas? He read about it in books and watched animated science videos. It turns out, laughing gas wasn't some silly prank tool or a magical giggle potion from a cartoon. It was actually a real gas used by doctors and dentists, especially when someone needed to feel relaxed or not <laughs> notice pain. Um Sum imagined himself at a dentist's office, sitting nervously in the big chair. The dentist would place a mask over his nose and tell him to breathe normally. Within moments, the worries in his head would melt away. His arms would feel light, and the buzzing tools wouldn't seem as scary. A warm fuzziness would fill his body. That was the effect of laughing gas. Still, Um Sum learned it wasn't all fun and laughter. When used properly by professionals, it was safe. But if someone inhaled too much or used it without supervision, things could go wrong. Breathing in too much laughing gas could make a person dizzy or even faint. It could take away oxygen from the brain, and that was dangerous. Um Sum was surprised to find out that in some places, people tried using it just to feel silly or lightheaded, and that was never a good idea. Aung Sum didn't open the canister. He simply made a note in his little science journal and left the lab, satisfied that he had learned something new.